Hey honeys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> uh, well, you could probably tell by the title and by my voice uh, what we're going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. So yes, like I said, you can probably already put the context clues together, but today we are going to be talking about how I got COVID on my Disney college program. Well, we're not gonna really talk about how I got it because I mean, let's be honest, I don't know for sure how I got it, but we are going to be talking about that today. So yes, I currently have COVID. <laughs> um, this is not how I envisioned the last couple weeks of my program going, um, but here we are. It's also not how I pictured the beginning of 2022 going but again here we are so i will run you down um kind of what happened and how i figured out that i have covid so today is thursday january 13th and um basically over the weekend on saturday uh chandler and i went to the parks we went to epcot in the morning and magic kingdom at night i felt fine the whole entire day i was i mean i was fine like we were going to the parks we were eating we were going on rides like we were doing the whole thing it was great it was a really fun day we went to celebrate my disney college program graduation um which i do have a video that i'm editing and you know in the process of so that'll be up soon but yeah it was a lot of fun and um yeah i it was it was lots of fun i felt fine the whole entire day so after that on saturday night as we were coming home i started losing my voice but i didn't feel sick like i just felt like i was losing my voice and i just figured okay i was at a you know i had a park day all day like that's probably what it is so i didn't really think <clears throat> anything of it like i said because i was at the park i watched enchantment for the first time i was using my voice there because i was singing and i was on rides so i was you know like using my voice the whole day so i didn't think anything of it and then the next morning we were supposed to go to hollywood studios um, Chandler and I and I woke up feeling <laughs> awful I was like oh my gosh like I felt really sick but I didn't think anything of it I mean like I thought something of it I was like okay I'm feeling sick but I just thought that I was like tired because I just felt like very tired very achy like not like really achy but just like fatigued and then also like my throat <clears throat> was hurting and so I was just like okay i'm probably still just like really tired from the park day so chandler ran out and i was still home and i was like supposed to be getting ready for the park so i like could not get up i was just so tired and i couldn't like i just could not get up so by the time chandler got back home from what he was doing he was like okay like you're actually not feeling well and i was like yeah i think i'm actually not feeling well <laughs> so we decided to go get tested so we decided that we would both get tested since we were together and you know whatever so we go to like this we look all over to see um where we can go get tested and you know like some places need to make have you make an appointment and there were no appointments available finally we find a free testing site where it's just seven days a week walk up so like drive through basically and um it's first come first served so we get there and we wait in line for about an hour we do we each do a rapid test and they both come back negative so i'm like okay it's probably just like a little head cold or i'm probably still just tired from yesterday like it's fine and chiller says okay yes like it may have come back negative but we probably still shouldn't go to the park because like you're really not feeling well and by this point it was just getting progressively worse like i just was like really really not feeling well so i just decided that i would take the day to rest but i was negative so i would be fine i had work the next day so i was like okay fine i will just rest up be you know rejuvenated for work tomorrow and we'll get back to it so the next day monday i wake up and i feel even worse at this point now i have even more symptoms and i'm just like not feeling well so chandler is like okay you need to get tested again because it's possible that your rapid test was just not accurate. Like you need to get tested again because you're still clearly sick and you're even more sick now. I'm just like, okay. So we try to go get tested um, before Chandler has to get into work, but it's like a whole thing. The line is too long, whatever. So I end up calling out of work. 
I had to be in at 12 that day. So I ended up calling out and I'm like, I can't go into work like this. Like, first of all, I could potentially be positive. Spoiler alert, I was. Or even if I'm not positive, like I just felt awful. I was like, I cannot go into work like this. I can't be talking to guests like this. Like it was terrible. So I decided that I'm gonna just drive myself over to the testing site and get tested again. So I go over and this time I get the rapid test and the PCR test because I'm like, okay, it doesn't hurt to have both and they were you know letting people do both so i was like okay i'll just get both done so that way i know for sure what's going on so i get my rapid test and as soon as i pull back up home i get the results and i'm like oh my gosh so i'm like getting nervous and i click on it and it says positive whoop de doo i'm like okay this is really great i'm positive like this is terrible i you know of course let chandler know let my family know all of that kind of stuff and then uh, yesterday, Wednesday, I get my PCR test results back and they were positive as well. So yes, I definitely have COVID. <laughs> and um, basically to kind of give you the rundown of it, of what my symptoms have been, um, it has been achy, I've been really tired, I've been very congested, I've been like sneezing and coughing a lot which just reminds me of how I feel when I have like a really bad head cold. I have a headache like behind my eyes, if that makes sense. So if I move my eyes like a certain way, it gives me like a sharp pain behind my eyes. I've been coughing a lot. My throat is really sore. It's been really sore. And other than that, I did have like a low grade temp in the very on Monday, which was another reason that uh, we were like, I need to get tested again. It was only like 99 point something, but that was pretty high for me. So, you know, I was like, okay, this could be something, like a sign that something is going on. That was the highest it got, but it was still there for a little bit on that, uh, like kind of first day. But yeah, so that was what my symptoms have been so far. And of course I did let work know. I did let my, my location know because like I said, I am on my Disney college program. I don't live at Flamingo. Um, just so everyone knows I do live offsite, but I did of course let my work location know and um, They told me the procedures And I had to go through like, you know, the whole like process of getting in touch with HR and all that kind of stuff But right now I'm out for at least five days So right now I'm on my fourth day and I'm still just like feeling the same So it's basically five days, but without symptoms thankfully with the new schedule out i'm actually not scheduled to go into work again until monday so like technically saturday would be my first day in after that five day mark if i didn't have symptoms but i'm not scheduled to work on saturday and i'm not scheduled to work on sunday so it kind of gives me like a two day <clears throat> like wiggle room in case I'm still not feeling well up until then. So at least I have a little bit of extra time because you know, I would hate to like miss more work, especially because I'm so close to being done my program at this point, which is crazy. But yeah, I had videos planned for this week and you know, I couldn't make them now because I can't go to the parks. I can't go to work. I can't leave the house. <laughs> so it's, um, it's tough in that aspect, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm not having super severe symptoms and of course if my symptoms continue up until i'm supposed to go back to work i will not be going to work because i don't want to get anyone else sick of course i'm gonna make sure that safety comes first health and safety have to come first so i would of course you know take those measures and make sure that i'm trying to keep everyone as safe as possible so yeah i will definitely be doing that but other than that, I've just been watching a lot of Hannah Montana and I've been watching a lot of Seinfeld. I'm gonna watch Encanto today for the second time because, not the second time today, this is the second time in general. Um, because I really loved it when I saw it in theaters and I haven't rewatched it yet and I've just been wanting to. So I do have some popcorn here and I'm gonna cuddle up in my blanket and watch Encanto. And yeah, I've just been reading and talking to family because People have been reaching out which has just been so so kind and like thank you all so much for everyone that's reached out if i haven't gotten right back to you i am so sorry i am still feeling very under the weather like i said i am so thankful that it's not like super severe symptoms but i am still not feeling well it's hard for me to like look at my phone for a long period of time because it's 
gives me like that really bad headache and even reading like I can't read for long periods of time I did make my whole Queer Eye Lego set which was really fun <laughs> that kept me busy for the first three days I finished it yesterday but yeah so that is where I am at my program literally ends in exactly two weeks from today so it's really crazy and it's crazy to think that when I go back to work if I even go back to work exactly when I'm scheduled to go back again next time, I will only have 10 days left of my program, which is crazy. And uh, it flew by and I had so much fun, but I definitely did not expect to be dealing with COVID the last two weeks of my program. But I am thankful that I did take another test. Uh, so that way I am able to make sure that I am doing my best doing my part to keep those around me safe. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I just wanted to give a little update on um, <laughs> on my life right now, I guess. <laughs> I'm still gonna try to get videos out uh, next week. Although, like I said, I did have some stuff planned that I was trying to do this week. And unfortunately, like it just obviously didn't happen where I was able to do that. But I am still gonna try and get videos out and I will just try to film them next week if I'm feeling better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for following along on my Disney College program journey so far. Even though my program is coming to an end in a couple of weeks, like I said, that does not mean that I will not still be making Disney content. I will, of course, still be making Disney content. I am getting married in March, which is why I decided to go home after my program to finish planning my wedding but I am coming back here after the wedding because we have an apartment here. So for at least the first few months after the wedding, I will still be back in Florida. So I will still be making tons of Disney content and who knows where my Disney journey will lead after the wedding. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned. I do have tons of other fun videos up on my channel currently that you guys can check out and I will have wedding planning stuff coming. I will have all types of fun videos coming out as well in addition to Disney. So please be sure to stay tuned. But for today, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the well wishes to everyone that has sent them my way. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful and blessed day, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.